my second grade, here's your story for the week. It's titled Dinosaur Travel, Dinosaurs Travel, A Guide for Families on the Go. And I'm going to ask that you pause the video and pick up your literature book. I am on page 338. So pause the video. Okay, so hopefully you have your literature book in front of you. I think it'll be much easier to follow along in your book and listen to the story. The genre is nonfiction informational text. An informational book gives information about a topic. And it is by Lori Cranzy Brown and Mark Brown. And Mark Brown is the author of the Arthur books. So the pictures might look a little bit similar because I think they're also the illust he's also the illustrator. Traveling. Do you ever wish you could climb a mountain, fly through the air, or ride around town in a long limousine? Every time you leave home, whether to travel around the world or around the block, get ready for an adventure. Getting ready for a trip. Books and maps can help you learn about a new place before you go there. You may not be able to take your pets with you, but someone else will take good care of them. And this says Kate's Kennel. If you take the addresses of friends and relatives, you can write to them while you're away. Find out about the weather where you're going and choose clothes that will be good to wear. Only pack a few toys, games, books, and tapes. Small, light, and sturdy things travel best. And you might not know what a tape is. When you think of tape, you might think of like if a paper rips and you might put a little piece of tape on it. But when I was a child, this is how we listened to music on a cassette tape. So when, they, when they're when they referring to tapes, bringing tapes, that's how you would listen to music when I was a child. So it's a cassette tape. Here's the cassette player. And this is what a tape looks like. Remember one or two favorite companions. And don't forget these. Some soap, a toothbrush, shampoo, toothpaste, and a comb. Getting from place to place. Wherever you're headed, Getting there can be part of the fun. The sign says airport. She's going in a taxi cab. Stegosaurus Airlines, they're flying. And it looks like this dinosaur is taking a sailboat. On foot. Walking lets you stop and see the sights. You may meet other travelers along the way. You can hike on a trail where almost no one ever goes. And your body is all that you need. Your own wheels. Bicycles and skateboards are faster than walking. You're the driver. It's up to you to know the rules of the road. Keep your bike or board in good working order so you're all set to ride any time. With your own set of wheels, you can go most anywhere. You and your family can go biking together. Sometimes you have to pedal hard to get where you're going. But downhill... You get a free ride. Buy car. 
Cars will take you on all kinds of roads. Riding on the highways is fastest. Driving on back roads is slower, but you see more. You and your family can go wherever or whenever you want. You can bring along lots of your things if you have room. You and your family can play word games while you ride. You can take turns reading road signs or looking at different license plates. It feels good to get out and stretch your legs from time to time. Switching seats will give you different views. If you have a cassette player, you can bring your favorite tapes. Oh, there we are talking about tapes again. Here's the cassette player and here's the tapes. That's what they look like. Riding the subway and bus. In some cities, riding underground in a subway is the fastest way to travel. On a bus, you can see what's going on outside. A tour bus driver will point out the sights. On a subway or bus, you must pay a fare to ride. Subways and buses make many stops. Don't forget to watch your, for yours. Taking the train. You can buy a ticket for the train at the station. Look at the signs for your track and departure time. All aboard. Taking the train is a great way to see new places. On most trains, you can sit facing forward or backward. The conductor announces each stop the train makes. You can follow along with a timetable. Trains don't have to stop until they pull into a station. The train stops at many stations so passengers can get on and off. Flying in planes. At the airport, an agent looks at your ticket checks your luggage, and assigns you a seat on the plane. Airport security makes sure no one carries anything dangerous or illegal on the plane. You can bring a small bag on most planes and stow it under or above your seat. Buckle up. Take off. As the plane climbs higher, things below look smaller and smaller. You'll fly up above the clouds. Coming home. When it's time to go home, remember to pack all your things. You may want to bring back a gift for someone special. Souvenirs and pictures will remind you of your trip. At home, things may look different to you. It's fun to go home again and see friends and relatives. You can play with all your toys, eat your favorite snacks, and dream about where to travel next. I hope you enjoyed that story.